I want to follow up on that right in southern Beirut today. Matt, there was there has been a pattern since October 8th that the day you say something, that you oppose something, the Israelis do something totally the opposite the second day. What happened yesterday, or the, the, the last 48 hours, the prime minister, the Lebanese prime minister, said, we have guarantees that they won't, they will not strike Beirut anymore. And obviously he was, this was the message in Lebanon, that these guarantees, the U.S. gave these guarantees. You said that yesterday, that you opposed these strikes on Beirut. Kirby, I think, in his briefing said that. I mean, does that concern you? This is the U.S. credibility. I'm not talking about whether this strike was against Hezbollah or against the, 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 the messaging, your credibility, the U.S. as a mediator, especially now in Lebanon, because everybody is looking at you, at you can, you are the one who can pose a ceasefire at least. What concerns us ultimately is outcomes. And we involve the United States in trying to generate the best possible outcome in every situation. And so when you say we made this clear yesterday, I can tell you we made it clear some number of days before I stood here at this podium and said it yesterday. And it wasn't me saying at this podium that ultimately led to the intensity of the strikes in Beirut going down. It was our direct quiet intervention with the government of Israel uh, that I believe led to that the intensity of that campaign being dialed back. We are going to continue to make that clear to the government of Israel, just as we're going to continue to make clear to them that ultimately we want to see full implementation of UN Security Council Resolution 1701. That includes the IDF withdrawing back into the borders of Israel and includes Hezbollah withdrawing back above the Latani River. That is what we continue to drive for, and it is ultimately those outcomes that we're most interested in achieving. On the strike in the south today, the village, uh, when the destruction of an entire village, also the strike in Nabatiyi. By the way, the building was belongs to the, uh, I think, the interior ministry, because this is a municipality. Also, you said you support a, milita a limited military operation. Is there a shared definition for this? A military limited military operation between you and the Israeli because I think the understanding in Lebanon that they what what's happening now it's like a scorched earth policy to create a safe zone so, zone in the south so it seems and it seems to be in effect now and do you support that that this will support the Israeli later in their negotiations with uh, Hezbollah or with the Lebanese government so so what we support are limited incursions to attack and degrade, to attack Hezbollah, to degrade Hezbollah infrastructure, not to target civilians, not to uh, destroy civilian ho homes, not to wipe villages out. We do support um, uh, campaigns to take on Hezbollah because for the past year, we've seen Hezbollah refuse to stand down on its attacks that had led to Israeli response attacks that had ultimately displaced tens of thousands of people on both sides of the border. That be has, has been an untenable situation for the people of both countries. But ultimately, what we want to see is implementation of United States, uh, is of, of UN Security Council Resolution 1701, because that would get us back to a place where those residents can return to their homes. Is there any uh, political engagement, any US official visiting Beirut next week? Do you have any? Uh, I don't have any announcements to make about travel next week. Okay. Um, stay tuned. We'll make announcements as we have them, but I don't have any to announce today. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you, Matt.